One of the big hopes from both sides of the aisle during this legislative session is passing a crime fighting package. But that hope seems to be dying. Action 7 News reporter John Cardinelli talked with Democrats and Republicans about getting it done. There's just eight days left in this legislative session, and up until this point, a crime package has not gained much traction. Republicans say they'll be surprised if it passes. Democrats say there's still plenty of time. A crime package was at the top of everyone's mind before this legislative session. It's not right. We have to take control of our state, and I really thought this year was going to be it. But Republicans like State Senator David M. Gallegos are worried the crime package will not pass this time around and is confused about the support it got from the governor before the session. It tells me it's just lip service. We did not care enough to do what they stated when they would have had both sides on these bills. And it's important. I don't know where we go from here. However, those across the aisle, like Democratic New Mexico State Representative Damon Eli says that's not the case. I, this is the sixth year I've been here. And uh, people always say that, and there's eight days left, which is a ton of time. Representative Eli says some of the legislation earlier on in the session didn't pass because it had flaws, but believes bills during the final days of the session will gain traction. The programs that we're talking about have left the House. They're going to the Senate. The governor will weigh in. The Senate will weigh in. Uh, we have lots of programs, and, and leading that is going to be the violence prevention program in Albuquerque. At this point, Representative Eli says he's not worried about a crime package not passing. There'll be a crime package. It won't be what everybody, it, not everybody's going to get what they want, but I, it's 100 percent it's going to get through. Republicans remain hopeful, but doubtful. They may make a liar out of me, and I'd be grateful for it. I would come to you and say, thank God they got it through. But I don't see the movement on those that are in control to be able to push it out. Senator Gallegos, who you just heard from there, says that if the crime package does not pass, he believes that the governor will have a hard time winning her re-election. Reporting outside of the Roundhouse, John Cardinelli, KOAT Action 7 News. Albuquerque Mayor Tim Keller has said in the past if the crime package doesn't pass, he urges lawmakers to hold a special session.